All right, welcome back everybody to another exciting installment of the Pokemon unboxing series. Today we have a lot of Scarlet, a booster box, Scarlet, the booster box, and Violet. The, that's not a booster box, this is an ETB. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna unravel the plastic wrap and get right into things, opening the ETBs first. All right, everything is unwrapped. Let's, uh, let's see. I bought Scarlet, so let's open the Violet box first with the, uh, the cool Maridon here. Take it out of its sleeve. Um, we get our little player's guide here as well. The cool new silver borders. And I haven't really seen um, too much of what's actually in this set yet. So I'm kind of kind of curious to, to get some packs open here. We have eight packs. Um, I guess these are the poison and burn tokens, and these are like horrendously ugly. Not only have they always been cheap, but they've at least looked like poison and burn tokens. This looks like a child created them in like MS Paint or something. Like I feel like six-year-old me could do better. Like seriously, what is what what is that poison? Um, all right. Um, the dice here, pretty cool. Dividers, pretty pretty self-explanatory stuff. Um, I guess we get our promo. Oh, okay. It's a cool promo card here. We'll take it out of the plastic wrap. Um, obviously energy. And then here are the, uh, sleeves that come with the ETB. All right. Man is sleeved up. Um, next, uh, let's move on to the Scarlet Box. I mean, not going to be much different, right? Um, get our packs out of here. Again, the very, very cool... I guess, I mean, if you look at it from the bottom, it's not terrible, but, like... Come on, what, are, what were they thinking with the poison one? I mean, I guess it's, like, purple. Um, you know, energy. Let's look at the promo card here. I love this Bryden, um promo card. It is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Wow, that is a pretty card. That is a pretty card. I also need to make sure I need to have, like, the lighting correct and everything. That might be a little bit better. Don't want it to be too dark or anything. Um, the sleeves, and like, he is like, stanced up, Jojo walking, um, and then the, uh, dividers, right. Oh, forgot to also mention here, the dice, they're not really, they don't look any different than the, um, I mean, these are like the same dice, am I, am I wrong? Why is one of these gray? Alright, but enough of this nonsense, let's get into the pack opening, that's what we're here for, right? Um, one thing I do want to say, too, is... So a lot of people, if, if you've been watching this channel, you're aware, I'm so excited to open some Scarlet Violet, oh my god. Um, you don't have to do the three to the back thing anymore, either, I forget that. They're just like, okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put them in the box normally. Um, the card, the card stock itself feels a little bit cheaper. Um, kind of admiring the new artwork here, Beach Court. Okay, like, uh, one less for a tree cost. You also get the, um, three hollows, two reverse hollows, one regular hollow. So we get Annihilate, Energy Surge, and a hollow Annihilate. Cool. Um, and you don't care about getting, like, hollows, reverse hollows right now because it's a new set, it's a new generation, everything feels fresh and new. Um, but the card stock does feel a little bit cheaper. Um, not that it's, like, too, too much of a negative, right? I, I forget I haven't did three to the back thing anymore. It's like, they finally fixed that. It's weird. Right. Um, other, other than that, I, I, I definitely prefer the Japanese silver borders. Judge, I'm glad they're running that. A lot of people were scrambling to grab that card. Um, it's like the new Marnie of the- Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, okay. Full art cloth. What is going on, buddy? He's kind of chilling there with his friends up in the mountains. It's like looking at you menacingly like you're like, you're not supposed to see this. Okay, and then a hollow professor's research. Nice. Psychic energy. Alright, cracking open our next pack. Um, but yeah, I've been, I mean, I've been hyping up, like, uh, oh, like, I'm so excited to have three promos, and I, I, I really am. I really, or not promos, but you know what I mean. Okay, they're running Palpad, too. It's pretty interesting. Um, like, it's nice, it's nice to have three potential rare slots, because it, it felt like before you could just waste... So much money with bad. Oh! Full art, Maridon EX! This is a super, super meta card, too. 
Very, very excited to pull that. Uh, super, super popular in the uh, electric decks that we're seeing now. Um, okay, okay. Welcome to the, the collection, collection, collection friend. We have the other Maridon here too. Okay, it's good to have two of those cards. I guess this is the EX, it's different. Yeah, the EX is different. It is still a basic though, which is which is fun. Um, and Maridon EX is so much better than Karidon EX because like, like uh, Karidon's ability is so bad comparatively. Like Maridon's is like a free battle VIP pass every turn. And then Crydon's is like, uh, you, this is terrible. This is a bad ability. It's like you would attach two fighting energy for your discard pile to one of your Pokemon, but your turn ends. And so if your turn ends, that's, that's terrible. Enriching oil. All right, okay. And a Palmot. Okay, I got this guy at the pre-release, so it's cool to see him. Electro paws. Okay, we do a little bit, of, little bit of meta stuff on the channel too here, um, so I'm gonna start looking at some of like the abilities and whatnot as well. That might slow things down, but this could be a long video. Um, so when you evolve, I really, really like running rare candy decks. So when you evolve um, Arboliva, you get to heal all the damage from one of your Pokemon, which is pretty interesting, because uh, normally like healing usually comes at a cost, right? Um, so like with Hyper Potion, you know, you need, to, you need to discard two Elba Wiggle, it is so funny. It is such a goofy Pokemon. Dig a little. Dig a little. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty interesting. Like a free heal. I wouldn't call it a free heal because you have to run, run the card, but... Uh. Ah! I remember how salty I was at the pre-release. I didn't like pull anything. I didn't pull it like I pulled like a single full art iron iron tusk. So pulling pulling the full art Gardevoir, this is probably the most valuable card in the set from from my understanding right now. Oh my god. Okay. It's like cause like basically the whole thing is with like the the, the Ralts line full arts is like that it's like it's like the, the Gardevoir evolves with this girl here and ooh. Oh, okay, and a Magazo EX! Oh my god, got pack. Got pack moment. Uh, we're definitely gonna get you guys put in sleeves here. I don't even need to create like a separate box for my rares and, and top loaders and whatnot. To, uh, I wanna I wanna keep like the gens differentiated. So like all my gen 8 stuff will be here, all my gen 9 stuff will be here, and you know, you kinda get the drill. Alright, so I keep moving forward here. Um, go go. I'm like, ooh, I'm excited. That was a that was a good pull. Not like pull, pulling a Black Lotus, but maybe in your fourth pack it kind of feels like it. Uh, Kilowattril. Rock Chest Plate. Interesting. Kind of like kind of like some defense for fighting Pokemon. Oh, Hollow Snake Lazar, nice. I guess I guess that was it. I kind of I guess the two the two uh, reverse halls we got were item cards. Um, interesting to see that because I noticed like the fighting the fighting Pokemon are pretty not developed in the um the tcg meta it feels like i feel like you really rarely see a fighting deck uh, houndoom fido scatterbug scatterbug's pretty interesting too because you can evolve it as soon as you play it um stonejourner penny uh metacham flamigo jug or jug, jug jack yo and a hollow clef key okay uh, let's put penny in this pile basic steel energy. Again, silver borders, it's like, wow, this feels so cool and, and fresh and new. I'm still, like, living in the ecstasy of pulling that Gardevoir EX. I'm pretty sure, like, that, like, makes, that makes, like, makes me money back in my investment already, Christ. Uh, Drifloon, so, unless I'm, like, vastly, and I'm looking at, like, pre-release prices <laughs> uh, of the Gardevoir EX and, like, over, overestimating its value. Alright, Clauncher. Halucha. Okay, Halucha's pretty cool. Um, I don't, I actually kind of don't mind seeing a hollow at the back anymore. I don't know. It just, it felt like, uh, things, I, I, I guess I, I I'll say it, like, I'll try to take it out of the air and express what I'm feeling. Things feel more fair with pack opening, and I also feel like, well, I'm still not the biggest fan of the reverse hollows. They are not as ugly. Um, 
because oh my god i looked at some of my old cards and the reverse hollows like they look fine they look good in some of the older generations it's like the it's like this is actually hollow instead of like the ugly um interesting um like i, I don't know sword and sword and shield had some had some moments definitely had some some bro moments okay another hollow palmot basic uh psychic energy um like especially the metal um reverse hollow energy cards those were like how did how did that get greenlit how did how did someone go yep this looks this is okay this is good um it it uh it it was not good it was i thought it was uh, very very gross and ugly looking interesting so it's like this is like a, a cycling card so it's also it's also draw support draw support and cycling is pretty interesting ah! <laughs> What's he, what's he wiggling around down there for? What's he wiggling towards? Oh, wiggle it, wiggle it. That is such a pretty card. It reminds me of like the Luminion or the Manaphy and another uh, hollow Arbeliva. Okay, let's get. Yo, wiggle it, wiggle it, it's wiggle it. I'm wiggling. Alright, let's keep moving forward. Uh, Tandem Mouse here. Pokey Gear 3.0. Flow it. Flow it. Palmy. Nest Ball. That's actually the first Nest Ball I pulled. I'm going to be needing those. Um, that's a bad ability. Can't be paralyzed. Picnic Basket. You have 30 damage from each Pokemon. That's weird. Uh, Flaffy. Pokey Gear 3.0. Go! Okay. Full Art Miriam. It's a cute girl. Automatically $30 card. We know the rules. We've been we've been pokey investors. We've been pokey investing. You know these. <laughs> this if it's a popular character and it's a, I guess I don't know if she's popular, but okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Good to good to see a, a you know a trainer gallery or it's not a trainer gallery, is it? It's a full art trainer. I should re if I'm gonna be doing these unboxings, I should really get to know like the names of what all these different types of cards are called. Um, Scatterbug, Shuppet, Weed Cat. Nest Ball, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, uh, Reverse Hollow Miriam, Reverse Hollow Grievered. Okay, there's like that's like the um, the pre-evolution to Arvin's dog. Okay, and a Hollow Klefki, showing back up again um, in the in the Scarlet Violet games, right? I know there's um, a Hollow, not a Hollow, excuse me. A slow poke that I'm real I'm really really uh, interested in pulling like the uh, one of the full arts it's like standing in like a plaza there's like the masters yeah um, I, I don't know I saw I saw it pulled at the pre-release so I'm really really uh, hoping 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 no just another another I would I would call that pack a dud um, again you know, the fact that everything is a hollow and you have two reverse hollows, it just feels like you have better odds. Um, you know, as long as they don't start messing with like the, the rates a ton, right? Uh, Houndour, Rifloon, Satadal, and a Vroom, Bombardier, Hypno, Beach Court. Um, gonna be an interesting card. Watch Roll, Spirit Tomb, the Doom Decree. I like that, it reminds me of uh, Radiant Jirachi. Yo, and an Armorage. Move a fire energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. That's pretty interesting, um, especially for a stage two. I definitely could see some some utility for that card right there. All right. Next pack. Again, we have the. Wow, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn or the turn you play it. That's interesting. The turn you play it um, is like that means you can just like cycle cycle the Evos, right? If you I don't think I don't think uh, Pavilion decks are gonna be meta or anything anytime soon. But do you enjoy off meta play? I also pulled the Slowbro. I think this is a really really pretty card. Um, Point Cologne, okay, and another Halucha. All right, all right. Um, almost done with the 16 packs from the uh, ETBs. We have three more left, including this one. Um, been kind of, been kind of slow. I mean, we had, I, the Gardevoir poll was super, super hype, right? Well, I like that Magikarp art a lot, all right? Magnum, I also like that art. They're definitely def the designed by the same artist with, like, a common theme in mind, I feel. 
Tarantula, uh, Pokemon Catcher, Sandaconda, Katie, Star Raptor, Versatile Cyclazar, Versatile Growlithe, again, beautiful artwork. Yo, and a Spide Ops EX. You love to see Spide Ops, he's so OP. Um, base stat like 410. I guess it kind of is like string shot as an ability there, and like your opponent's active retreat cost is uh, one one more. Yeah, still 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 pretty lame. <laughs> still still pretty lame. Sorry, Spide Ops. Um, I think I think that's cool though. I mean, whatever whatever makes a, a Pokemon feel unique or interesting, right, or, or differentiated from the rest, I think is is always pretty cool. So like, if you're if you're the weakest Pokemon, you know what I mean. That's um, it's kind of your niche, right? Uh, Mareep, Electric Generator, Wug Trio, Judge, um, Fortress, Beach Court. Yo, another ho uh, Hollow Professor's research. Okay, definitely, definitely been slowing down. Um, Spide Ops EX pull wasn't super exciting. So let's uh, let's see uh, see what's cooking. See what's cooking. Next pack here. Again, we have 36 more packs after these 16. So get ready. Um, Dolive, Waxley, Pawneard, Electric Generator, Wug Trio, Judge. All right, moving on to our Reverse Hollows here. We have a Growlithe, Charticat, Chark, Chark Adet, and a Dondozo. Dondozo, okay. Um, all right, nothing, nothing to write home about, um, except the Maridon EX. I, uh, there's a few cool cards there, right? Um, I've heard other people get, like more frequent luck, but I guess what we made with for like not getting a lot of pulls, we got like the Gardevoir EX. So I'm not, you know, I'm not whining or anything like that, right? Um, again, alt arts are so cool, so cool. So let's, uh, you know, move forward and crack open this booster box. Um, I don't know why, but these booster boxes also feel a lot nicer too. You can kind of see like the Maridon like pop up. Like this, this, this feels like more quality. Um, of like a cheaper container, right? Whereas before it felt just like cheap cardboard, um, you know, and like, yeah, yeah, I guess that's, that's, that's a take. 36 more packs, 36 more packs, let's see it. All right, this is a black border, so let's see if there's a rare card or if that's just a complete myth. I'm actually unsure, I've heard conflicting information. Uh, okay, cool, so Viper about whether um, the borders of the online codes actually mean anything. Defiance Band. More prize cards remaining than your opponent, you do more damage. That's interesting. Don't think it's the meta usage or anything like that, but... Okay, Reverse Hollow Weed Cat, another Hollow Cyclazar. Um, I think we're gonna see a lot of... Um, Hollow, Hollow Cyclazar ran as a kind of, like, Celebrations Mew, like... One energy, draw two cards, your retreat cost is pretty solid. Pretty solid um, for, like, early game, right? So if you need basics in your deck and you don't know what to put in your deck, you just need, like, a useful card. Sick the car. Sick, sick Lizar has got your back, right? All right? Moving on, we have a Bruxish. Kind of starting to see a lot of the same cards now. Um, I guess, like, there's a few that would uh, be new. Be new. It's nice to get all the... Um, the trainer cards too, like the judges and whatnot. Build's cool. Another hollow cleft key. Um, we're kind of seeing the common hollows, I would say. Like we've seen this, we've seen this cleft key in like the Halucha um, quite a few times. I think it's like the Arbaliva. It's like, all right, give us, give us some, give us something spicy. Uh, Watrol and Zangoose, Krogunk, Mousehold, uh, Vitality Band, Toxtricity. A lomo lomola, a lomo a lomo 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 because, like, they look fine in-game, but, like, in cards, they look, I mean, they look goofy in-game, let's be real. In, in the card, uh, like, which is, like, what you hold for artwork, it's like, ah, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna tuck those away, uh, underneath the top of the card here, right? Um, I definitely prefer the EXs to the V cards. Maybe that's just because, 
You know, you <laughs> yeah, I don't want to brag about my V card collection, right? <laughs> um, but you know, e EX card collection it seems uh, seems a lot more. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, Team Star Grunt, Lucario, Rock Chest Plate, Kilowattrel, Dolliv, uh, another Hollow Arboliva. Kind of a dud pack. Um, I don't know if it's gonna set upon me that like these packs really don't feel much different than like they did before. So like when you get a dud pack in like Fusion Strike, um, with Curlia, nice. Um, I don't know. I don't know because like, getting a dud, getting a dud in like the uh, the Sword and Shield Gen Eight stuff was like you got one ugly Reverse Hollow, and then um, another Palmot, nice. And like, like I, I don't know. And then like, not even a hollow. Like you weren't even guaranteed a hollow. And you could argue that makes hollows more rare. But you could also argue that the, that it makes like pack opening um, way less enjoyable, right? Uh, Curlia, sweet. I mean, if you're the Pokemon company, you're like trying to, you know, teach children and you know, uh, prey on people's nostalgia and get them to gamble, then. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Probably, probably a good decision to do to do what they're doing now. I mean, I've heard I've heard people talk about the rates being a little bit better, but again, I'm not really feeling it because um, I feel like with Crown Zenith, my rates have been insane. But I know that hasn't been universally true to everybody, so I'll definitely I'll definitely keep that in mind that um, the rates people have been reporting are a little bit better, a little bit better. Nothing crazy, but. Um, you know, I've, I've I've definitely heard uh, more 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 promising things about the um, Scarlet Violet rate. I guess we're, we're getting a lot of Haluchas though. Turning into the Joker here. I mean, we still have a lot more packs to, to thumb through, so let's uh, not not close our minds yet. Um, stay open to the potential of you know positive results um, in in our gambling endeavors. Right, Rotom, Palpad, Greedent. Pavilion, um, dash well baked body can't be burned and can't be hit by fire Pokemon. It's so funny. It's such a goofy Pokemon. So ah! <laughs> I wanted this card so bad. Drowsy, drowsy. Look at him. Look at look at look at that. That is so pretty. Wow, wow. That is a gorgeous card. It's like sleeping. It's like chilling on the park bench and at the amusement park and all the people are playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, they're not even aware of it. But Drowsy, Drowsy knows he's in a simulation. He's, he's illuminated by the street lamp. Another Hollow Professor's research. Okay, okay, Drowsy. Sit and, you know, sit on that for a minute, okay. Well, just as I was complaining about, you know, like, oh, what's, uh... Stay open to, to the positive. Let's uh, see see what good things could could manifest, right? Look at that. Right, we have a Drifloon, Satoddle, Broom, Magikarp, Blissey, Jack. Jack. Seeing a lot more Jack than I am seeing Nest Balls, and I really want Nest Oh, okay! Toxic Croak EX. My poison decks are gonna go insane. Not. Okay, okay. Wow, Toxic Croak. It's kind of giving you like the middle finger there. Toxic. Moving on, moving on. Our next pack here, we have a Flabebe. Toxel. Oh, Ralts. That's pretty. That's like a. That's pretty. Like kind of in front of the, the big Hogwarts style Academy in Scarlet Violet. Growlithe. Torkoal. Um, I also pulled like three more cards. Uh, Caspa Kid, Zangoose, and Dodonzo. Dodonzo. Um, I got styled on by Dodonzo at the pre-release. So I think I think a single prize Tatsugiri Dodonzo deck could be pretty funny. Um, I know the this like the Dodonzo Tatsugiri Strat and Scarlet. But I don't really play competitive Pokemon too much. Unfortunately, just don't have the. Uh, the time for it. I mean, you can you can pick like only so many hobbies, you know. But that's actually really exciting. At the same time, that there's so many things that you want to do that you don't have enough time to do all of them. The rare candy, 
And hollow indeed. I think that's the first time we've seen you. Expert nurturer. So you can just like evolve a You can just like evolve a Pokemon. That's also another interesting like Cyclazar to your card, right? Um, where it's just like a basic that you might be able to that you might see ran in decks that like don't have enough support. Um, and like might kind of struggle in an early game scenario, right? Just to just to help make them a little bit more consistent. Um, so just shove it. Tandem out. I love how it's like mouth is so open. So, ah! Uh, Smoliv against a cute Pokemon. Primate. Breloom. I guess they're kind of like fighting each other. Uh, Kilowattril. Heracross. And the artwork has been very lovely. Um, Armorage and a King Gambit. Basic Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. You could probably do some interesting stuff with like damage stacking. Um, I really, really like that concept with the Reggie Lucky VMAX decks. Where, especially with the item lock with, um, like, Vika Vault. I think the other one I made was, like, Pincurchin, where basic electric Pokemon do 30 more damage. And you could just get, like, three Regieleckis on your bench and do, like, 90 more damage. So I always find, I always find those kind of decks where you just sort of, like, stack up as much damage as possible. Pretty fun. EXP share. It is a tool now. It's a tool, not an item. It's a tool. It's a tool, not an item. Item lock's not as oppressive. Curlia. Squovit. Okay, Hollow Coridon. And, uh, basic energy. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of scouting out some, some of the more, more potential meta decks here. As we have, uh, um, you know, a whole new set of cards and what's happening with rotation and whatnot. And it's kind of frustrating because I, I, you know, after Scarlet Violet ends, I want my Sword and Shield decks to be my Sword and Shield decks. I want my Scarlet Violet decks to be my, er, my Scarlet Violet decks, right? Um, okay, and a qual -qual, qual qual label. This is actually a pretty solid card, too. Um, attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So pretty pretty interesting concept there for en uh, energy manip decks, right? All right, I think I saw something good. So I guess we'll see. Maybe maybe I didn't. Um, energy retrieval. Lechonk. Slowpoke. Wattrel. Florgis. Muck. Uh, Pavilion. Palmot. Drowsy and a cloth. Ah! Hollow cloth, I think you're interesting. I don't think you're as interesting as full art cloth, but I think I think you are pretty cool. And eesh. I like to sleeve all my hollows and reverse hollows, so um gonna need to be gonna need to be buying some more penny sleeves, I guess. I thought like the one pack I had now would last me forever, but you know, with two two reverse hollows per pack, oh my god, I'm like dying. Um we might move through this a little bit faster than you think. Ultra Ball, okay, Espadra, Tropius, Breloom, yo, and a Bonet EX. It's one of the cards I pulled pre-release. Didn't look too interesting. You also need to shove it. I didn't have one, so it's kind of frustrating. Okay, okay. Bonet EX. I'm a Bonet I E X. What can I say? Alright, moving forward, we have Claw Itzer. Grave Eared, Grave Art. I thought it was. I don't know. Was, was, it, was that the final Evo? Am I tweaking? Is that a different Pokemon? I played through the game. Oh, this is the Pokemon I'm thinking of. Okay, so diff different lines, different lines. There's two dog Pokemon. Um, wow, once during your turn, you may switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to their bench. That's pretty solid for, for decks that don't deal with, like, retreat. Um, especially for a stage two. So you might actually see that a little bit. The Houndstone. Ten more, ten more damage for each Psychic Pokemon in your, uh, in your discard pile. I don't know about that one. Um, unless you built, like, a very, very narrow focus deck <laughs> with, with, you know, that card in mind. But, um, alright, we have a Star... Again, it feels so weird not to do the three cards to the back. Mankey. Toad's Cruel. Okay, first time we see this guy. He is like the standing, standing Tentacru uh, Tentacruel. Cyclozar. Vitality Band. Versal of Maridon. Versal of Go Goat. Yo, and a Hollow Slowbro. Again, love to see him. Alright, almost halfway through the booster box. We have not got, like, anything interesting. Um, I mean, I guess the, the EXs have been fine, but. 
Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of still living on the hype of the Gardevoir EX. I think I'd be pretty disappointed right now if I didn't pull that. Um, but it is, uh... Um, you know, why not Why not just buy singles, right? Energy Switch, Fido, yo, and a Maridon, and a Maridon. Basic energy. But, yeah, I mean, the pulls have been pretty lame so far from what we've seen. Um, definitely don't feel like I have to worry about... Uh, these packs having been opened beforehand, I don't get that vibe at all. Um, I think I think this luck's been a little bit stinky. I mean, we've got a couple cool EXs, but you can usually pick those up for like a dollar. So, um, and when a pack's like, I guess in a booster box, you're probably picking it up for closer to three dollars. Uh, ah! Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Sp Why is it so happy? Why is it so happy? M Mabistiff. Mabistiff. And it still has the uh, the Intimidating Howl ability, like I mentioned earlier, which is, like, pretty interesting. It's like an escape rope for your opponent, just uh, just once. Yo, and a hollow Meowskarata. Okay. Wow, Mabastiff. He's so happy. He's a happy puppy. You love to see the, the alt arts. That's, uh, that's, that's probably the most interesting cards to collect. The EXs are kind of... They come and go, right? Like, I don't think anyone's be writing home about most of the V-cards in Sword and Shield and... How did how did V cards get greenlit? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Jesus. It's like, like did, there's no. I swear. It's like some people are just so dense. It's like, like collecting Pokemon cards is already bad enough, bro. Like God already hates me and press this research. Okay. And like you're gonna you're gonna literally call them V cards. <laughs> like, come on. Okay. I will say like the quality of the packs themselves feels pretty nice, um, if that makes sense. Like opening the packs like feels good. I don't, I don't know. It feels a little bit different. Um, Flamigo, Grievered, Cacnea, and a Skeledurge. Gator Friday. All right, we have a Clauncher, Skeeto, Quaxley, Squovit. Bombardier and a Hypno Beach Court, uh, Krogunk, Magnemite, and an Annihilate. Again, like a lot of these like dud packs. There's no hits, there's no EXs, there's no full arts. We're seeing a lot of that, and I will take people's word for it that the rate's been pretty solid and that I might just be having a having a spell of bad luck. And you know what? I would much rather pull that uh, Gardevoir EX and have a spell of bad luck than not get the pulls I got with Crown Zenith. I got such insane pulls from Crown Zenith. I think I made my money back on every single, um, oh, okay, no, just fight out the X on every single thing I, thing I opened, right? I don't think the, the spite out the X is terribly interesting in a meta of, like, Giratina. You know what I mean? By the time, it's like, oh, no, my retreat cost is one more. Too bad I'm not retreating. Um, and, uh, you're nuked, by the way, you know, especially in a, like, I don't know, when switches are ran, and air balloons, and I don't, is air balloons still a thing? I'm not sure, actually. Um, uh, Magikarp, Magnemite, Beach Court, Sandaconda, um, Kitty, Kitty, Lechonk, Weasel, and another Houndstone. Again, lame pack, lame pack, kind of, uh, approaching the end of the booster box here. Yeesh. Eesh, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? What's the next pack? I don't know. It's been kind of dry. It's been like, give me something good so I can make entertaining content, Pokemon Company. Come on. Uh, Stone Journer. Nothing. Another Hollow Professor's Research. Okay. Eesh. I mean, we have about this many packs left. It's probably about a little bit under 10. Um, eesh. Been, been trying to make AI sentient with uh, my, my theology stuff. And I'm kind of excited to return to that after the luck uh, in, these, in these packs. There hasn't, I mean, the luck, the absence of luck. Uh, okay, cute bird, cute bird, Starly. Um, oh, Tarantula, that's pretty cute. He's like smiling in like the forest. Uh, Sandaconda. Ooh. It's like, all right, come on, shiny cardboard. Come on, shiny cardboard. Uh, I gotta pick one up. Right, another Arboliva. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, I guess, I guess like, the, the cards themselves are cool from the collector standpoint, but, you know, you get the cards themselves one way or another, so it's, like, 
Well, let's see. Let's see the polls. Let's see the polls. Um, probably this has been one of the lamer episodes, um, and that's, that's saying something considering <laughs> how bad some of the polls you could get in um, Sword and Shield were. Spathra, Stonejourner, Jock, and an Armorage. All right, Scarlet Violet, you are disappointing me. At least let me get the Slowpoke, please. I'm glad I was able to find that Drowsy, but like, come on, come on, give me the Slowpoke. Uh, Watchroll, uh, Crocorock, Mankey, Squawkability, Electric Generator, Judge, Floatzel, Switch, Launcher, and a Reverum. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, about five packs left, uh, left after this one here. Crack it open, see what's inside. All right, we have a Riolu, Magneton, Klotzer, Graveyard, Ultra Ball, Arvin, Versal Lucario, Versal Dash Bun. Yo, full art, Dr. That's a cool full art. I'm liking the full arts. Um, I feel like they're giving them a little bit more, a little bit more energy. That's uh, that's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. It's like I don't know. Toxic. It's so funny. He just gives you the finger. <laughs> it's like, hey, screw you. <laughs> I'm sick of you. Might have to, might have to create a toxic croak deck now. Uh, now, who knows? Um, I also think the EXs are pretty, a little bit more interesting that you have to evolve them from Pokemon, and you can't just like instantly have a V card in your bench. Um, that's, that's so bad. So bad. You know, someone's gonna like walk into the Scarlet Violet meta and they're like, they were called V cards. Like, yep. And everyone made fun of us. Another Klefki. You hate to see it. Getting tired of seeing Klefki. Let's, uh, let's, uh, try to get a, um, a, uh, a, you know, the Altar Karaidon, Maridon. Um, please, please. We did get the Gardevoir. I, I can't whine too much. Like, literally, literally, like, I cannot ask for anything after getting the Gardevoir. And Scarlet, <laughs> this, this episode knows that. Ah! Oh! oh, that is a pretty card. Okay, I have three Spite Ops EXs now. What's going on with that? Why do why why does Spite Ops love me so much? He's so he's so scrawny. He's so skinny. I'm pretty skinny too, but okay, that's a that's a cool card. Um, Don Don Dondozo. Okay, this one's like super like sparkly too. I don't know like how well you can see that. Ooh, shiny, shiny. Okay, um, four. I repeat, four packs left in the Scarlet Violet unboxing. Um, it's, uh, this episode's definitely had its ups and downs, definitely peaked in the beginning, um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, Nest Ball, oh, oh my god, okay, there's the family thing I was talking about with the, with the Curlia, with the Gardevoir, okay, maybe, maybe I'm whining too much, there's another, there's another full art, um, yeah, and like basically like when when it's like when you have the Ralts, she's like a girl. And like as you saw her like a little bit older, like your kid's grown up with the Gardevoir, right? Kind of suggesting the Pokemon's been like with her her entire life. That's that's amazing. And an Indeedy. People watching this might be might be too young, but like Dexter's Labs, you had like DD, you know. Alright. Curlia, Curlia, three packs left. I am very optimistic. I think we've, like, used up all our luck in the beginning, and then we just had, like, a dry spell, and it's, like, all, all coming back to us right now. Drifloon. Weedcat. Flittle. Surviper. Picnic Basket. Bombardier. Hypno. Meditite. Shuppet. Alucha. Basic Water Energy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm tired of seeing Klefki and Halucha. Stop giving me Klefki and Halucha. I don't want Klefki or Halucha. I want, <laughs> I want, I want a uh, Alt Art Maridon. What is going on here? Uh, we have the Dene, Pineco, Flitzel, Flittle, Fueco, Blissey, Jot, and Floor, Floor, Floor Gato. Forgetto, Katie, another Klefki, yo, and a great Tusky X. Interesting, interesting. I did pull the full art of this guy at uh, the pre-release, so 
cool to see ya. I, no, it was the Iron Tusk. It wasn't this guy. Okay. Um, you know, fighting energy might be... Fighting energy decks might be a little bit more viable in the future here, and... Here we have it. Last pack. Let's see what's in store for us. Okay, okay, let's see what it is. Alright, Sandile, Houndoom, I think it's like the first time we've seen you. Uh, Fido, so cute, Scatterbug, Drift Blim, another Nest Ball, nice, Pachirisu, Versal Energy Retrieval, Halucha, and a King Gambit. Okay, uh, not, not the best, not the worst. Uh, but yeah, that is gonna do it for this episode. Before we end things off here, um, let's take a peek at all the, uh, the cool cards that we've, um, that we've opened today. Alright, we have a Great Tusk EX, Curlia Full Art, Spidops EX Full Art, Toxicropes EX Full Art, Spidops EX, uh, Mabostif, Mabostif, Mamoswine, Banette EX, um, Toxicrope EX, uh, Full Art Drowsy, Alt Art Drowsy, Gyarados EX, Spidops EX, um, Cute Girl. <laughs> Uh, Wiglet, I love this card. It is so pretty. It's such a goofy like Pokemon as for uh, such a pretty card. Like love disc in the background there, and, like the beautiful water. Um, Gardevoir EX, hype, hype, hype. There it is. Uh, Magnezon EX, Maridon um, promo, Maridon EX, full art, uh, cloth, alt art, and the Coridon. Love this card. In love with this card. Um, promo. But yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoy, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching. See you later.